brief introduction on the D3000 short lap from Epsom and its components. This is the overall machine, it's the DR model with the dual roll, so it has a front paper loader and an internal paper loader, so it carries two rolls of paper. The bottom loader will take up to 12 inch paper, the top loader will take 8 inch. Here we have the print sorter, which is a 10 tray sorter. We have a long print extender, so a long power print by the top, and we have a belt at the back where 10 inch prints stack on the left hand side of the machine. We have an ink tank cartridge assembly here, so we open this door and you've got six ink cartridges. Each cartridge is 700 mils. They all lock into place, very simple push operation, as so. The top loader takes up to 8 inch of paper and sits on the spool here, set the paper guides and feed the paper in. The bottom loader is situated under this cover, you open it up and then you can see paper loaded, we have the guides again that we can set up to 12 inches and feed through as needed. Under this blue cover here, we have the maintenance tank, which is basically where the waste ink goes. So after the machine does full bleed print, it goes over the edge of the print, goes into absorption rollers, and that ink comes down into the waste tank. Around this side of the machine, we have the paper cut tray, which is where machine makes cuts for specific print sizes, paper cuts are deposited into the waste box. Also located here is the bank printer on the machine, where the machine will allow you to put uh, bespoke writing on the back of the prints up to 80 characters. This section of the machine is where we access the print head for cleaning, daily routine maintenance, the cutter and the dryer. We shouldn't really need to go in here apart from the close down and start up operational checks and maybe two week maintenance. The machine is driven from a USB connection and a 13 amp socket and all controlled from the PC with the order controller software.